It's basically a 64-year-old diabetic female who had an acute coronary syndrome probably two years ago. Um, uh, if you can see the history, and uh, at that time she was not evaluated and uh, managed medically. Then she had another episode of unstable angina in January. Uh, this was an NSTEMI and again managed conservatively. Then had the angiogram in April 2019, which showed a LAD CTO, mid LAD CTO, a critical osteoproxal LAD, uh, and an RCA CTO with some circumflex disease. Uh, we will play. Can you go to the next slide, please? So, this was the angiogram that was done in April. Um, you can see can you the talk a little louder, please? disease and the. Dr. Anand, can yeah. you talk a little louder? So, circumflex disease is. Uh, yeah. No, yeah. Better, better. Increase the audio. Increase the audio. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, you can see the osteoproximal LAD disease and uh, mid LAD CTO. Next slide, please. Uh, and uh, the big septal filling the right uh, because the right is a very large vessel with the CTO in the mid segment. Next. And next the LAD is filling from right. homologous collaterals. Uh, next slide, please. Next. So, this was the RCA. So, this patient was advised surgery, but uh, did not uh, go for surgery for the last four months. So now she is on the table for PCI. So we started with the diagnostic. Can we switch to the live fluoro, please? First line, first line. Yeah. Live fluoro, please. Yeah. This is one where you probably don't want to calculate the syntax score because yeah. you don't so want to know it. <laughs> <laughs> it's better not to calculate. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. Once again, <laughs> how is LV so function? How is LV yeah, function? Patient, LV, fu LV function is about 50%. Uh, okay. She has chronic stable angina. Yeah, did you 50 percent with some regional wall motion in the anterior wall. Yeah, did you consider? If you, if, did you consider to use here um, protection, um, protected device, uh, impella, something like this? Is this an option for you because um, um, this is really because the LP function was adequate. We didn't we didn't really think about it. Um, and the CTO was also uh, probably is not so complex, but we might have to stem from left main uh, because of the angulation and the osteoproximal disease, and it being a right dominant system. Uh, so problem, here we are. The problem Next. of using so impella in our country is too expensive, for instance. Patient, yeah. uh, it'll be three times the cost of the PCF procedure. Yeah, yeah I know, but. Uh, and you know, if the I patient die on the table, um, the problem yeah, yeah. will could be even uh, yes, larger. Yes. We, I'm working in uh, Bad Krozen, heart center Bad Krozen. So this is a, a largest center in Germany for interventional cardiology. So we do around six to 700 CTO procedures a year and 1,100 uh, bifurcation lesions and around uh, 400 left mains. So um, we are really specialized for such um, uh, such uh, complex situations. But even for me now, uh, so I would uh, we need just to work more to think about more uh, to have longer. just in case maybe yeah. some protection. You know, because Back you can go with the wire to the, the to the what is the plan LAD. Of course, you should start first of all with the CTO. Most probably, you will start with uh, LAD. Uh, it yeah. looks so, easy. So we will we will we will take it through the first few steps uh, that we have done. Uh, so what we have done is uh, the plan was to initially step the circumflex. Uh, you know, make sure the circumflex. This is the RCA uh, compared to the April angiogram. Probably there's a micro channel which was not there in April, so that makes that see a little easier than what we thought. Uh, so uh, we started with the circumflex. Uh, we dilated with the two, two into 15 balloon uh, and uh, standard it with the 2.538 Zion expedition um, and post dilated it with the 2.7512. Uh, 
we did an IVAS run post stent. Um, can you show the IVAS, please? Yeah, play the IVAS. Can you switch to the IVAS, please? Yeah, play, play that IVAS. Yeah. So this was the post uh, uh, stent IVAS. IVAS. Yeah. Dr. Vijay Kumar, who is with us, and Dr. Socrates with us. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Vijay Kumar is uh, and, and uh, a condenser run from distally. It's a diffusely diseased vessel, and we selected as landing zone with less than 50 percent path burden. And you can just see that is a distal part of the vessel, and we are coming closer. And there's a lot of disease everywhere. And this is a distal part of the stent. Stent landed in a good zone, and. Uh, like pan stent distally, distal area measured around 4.2 millimeters square, and the distal half of the stent it is uh, again 4.2, it is 100% expanded. You see here a lot of block burden, eccentrically expanded stent. It was already dilated with a 2.75 millimeter balloon at high pressures. Uh, and the proximal half at uh, the reference is uh, 5.2, and our minimal stent area, the proximal half is 4.7 millimeters square. And the stent landed in a zone with the 48 percent plug burden proximally. So it is uh, fairly and optimally deployed this stent in the LCX. Okay. Only thing so we need to, to be Pluto. careful while deploying uh, stents at the mild so disease segment is you need not go too high pressures, otherwise you could produce the edge dissection. Uh, first of all, there, there was a... No, both edges were okay, sir. No, this no, this I just... Digital uh, edge, it is a uh, very minimum uh, plot, uh, but then... No, I understand. For the sake of everybody, I'm just mentioning here that... And uh, no dissection, yeah. Yeah, that's uh, uh, well taken, but uh, just for sake of everybody, I'm mentioning that when you're ending in the mild disease segment, yeah, you need fine, to be yeah. careful avoiding too much high-pressure inflations yeah. and taking the optimal size tent. High now we're no, going yeah, on to the so next step. Yeah, once we've... Yeah, once it's it finished uh, with the second If you don't have an impeller, uh, can we use the IABP cell back up in this case? Uh, yeah, yeah, something is better than nothing. Yeah, we have the IABP at hand. But I, I, at present, I don't see a point uh, or a reason to do it because patient is stable, pressures are fine, no Any angina. Um, uh, so I decided to first secure the septal because that's the key for the RCA right now. And any manipulation in the LED should not close off the septal. So I wired the septal with the Fender XP. Uh, uh, initially, we tried with the whisper, we did not cross. So th there is an osteal disease in the septal also. So I wa placed a wire in the septal and uh, took another wire uh, to go into the uh, LED uh, and dilated the proximal LED because if I take a microcatheter through that critical lesion in LED, uh, it's going to cause a lot of ischemia, and the RCA territory is going to get ischemic. So we dilated it with the 2 and 2 into 12 balloon, serially up to 18 atmospheres, and uh, we have placed a microcatheter in LED at the proximal cap, uh, and I have a filler XP wire at the tip, and uh, that's where we are right now. It's moving. So, so from I'm my going to try perspective, cross wire across the lesion. So yes. I think, uh, from my perspective, it was um, quite risky to start with the last uh, remaining vessel. I wouldn't recommend you. Why? Not because uh, because I have good experience. I have bad experience. So last remaining vessel, similar situation, um, and you just go with a wire. Uh, you go maybe with a balloon pressure is going down until you start resuscitation. And this is um, sometimes ends uh, fatally, you know, patients die. So you're, you're lucky, you're lucky, your patients is now very lucky because you could manage this very easy. Uh, regarding the CTO procedure in um, LAD, we would also in our center start uh, de-escalating st therapy strategy. So we would go first a short attempt to a field XDR. If it doesn't work, I would go to, uh, let's say, ultimate BROS, pre-gram, or Gaia second will be next step. And then finally, uh, because it looks uh, calcified, uh, probably uh, then uh, to the answer. So, Why Fielder, Fielder, Gaia second or ultimate, and then Gaia third or Confianza. This is the uh, uh, 
uh, row for steps? So we do have the wires, uh, but right now... Uh, you I'm don't have Gaia? I'm able to cross at least half the legion. Yeah, it's not, Gaia, bad. it's not bad. It's not bad. Um, but I'm just trying a hydrophilic wire, uh, and I think that would go. Yeah, maybe check, uh, please, uh, LAO. Cap. Please check LAO, because one projection is not always sure. Yeah. So we'll come to LAO cranium. Here looks uh, at least not so bad, right? Yeah, this yeah. way better. Take a shot. Yeah, he looks also not bad, so I think you can make correct sure. Yeah, I, go I, I think we are at the distal cap, and uh, yeah, you were in septal. Okay, probably that's fine. the distal Very good. Rate. Yeah. Yeah, fine. Congratulations. Uh, so I'm going to advance the Corsair uh, into the LED, and uh, okay, the guide is backing ratings. out because there is some calcium in the so that, part that was of the a field. That was just a fielder that you uh, crossed with? But I think the uh, yeah, that yeah. was a fielder XC. Okay. Uh, 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 it may not support the uh, other systems, so probably I will exchange it to a Grand Slam uh, yeah, before I proceed yeah, with that's other good idea. Uh, devices. Keep two millimeter balloon. Will be my first and, uh, choice. Sister, can we go up on the anchor? So. I have a trap balloon in the guide, which is a 3.8. Um, so the trap balloon is up now. And uh, um, so. Uh, deflate, deflate. No, no. Go distally. Um, um, um. So what we would like to do is now exchange the course, uh, wire. Can you get a Grand Slam wire, please? Looks like you're probably wire. in a septal down there, right? Or yeah, the, uh, there's another wire in the septal. I'm going to keep there till uh, now. I finish with the LED and One probably, you know, get years. my wire across to RCA. Uh, then come back and stand the LED. Uh, because well, though there is a micro channel in RCA, um, I'm not sure if we can cross it uh, without too much difficulty. Uh, because RCA territory is completely dependent on uh, this one septal, and I think compromising it is going to be a bit dangerous. Uh, um, take care, because you could make you now some dissections. Yeah. So can we have a cranial? Happy cranial. Happy cranial. Ah. I think you're if there is a problem with crossing this, just leave it a uh, wire and take 1.5 balloon and then make some. Yeah. Pardon? I, we didn't, I didn't hear that. What was that? No, no, that, that now you're, you're fine, out of the yeah, septal. Yeah, go, go down. Wonderful. Ah. Ah. No, that's better. Is it trap? Wait, no, wait, wait. The balloon is out through the gate. So, can we take a shot? So we'll just confirm the position of the yeah. wire. Um, yeah, I think uh, we are in LED. Let me engage the guide better. Uh, one shot, please. Yeah, so I think we are in LED. Uh, so I'll get the micro gadget out and uh, go up on the trap balloon, please. You can defi uh, definitely work now with uh, wires and uh, with so uh, balloons, I mean. Yeah. So we micro get it out. So we'll now dilate the dilate the segment of the LED. Yeah. Can you give me a 2.5, 10, 12 balloon? 2.5 or 2? 2.5, 15. Okay. 2.5, 2.5, 15. Balloon, balloon, balloon. 2.5, 15. So uh, basically, I'm going to balloon the LED. Uh, or the other way we can do it is leave the wire here and finish the RCA and come back. Uh, so let's go back to LAO. Having done this, I because think we can uh, 
make the lady stable and then go there. Yeah, I would. I would no, I was just, I was just a bit concerned about uh, occluding the settle um, because uh, the RCA territory is kind of only going through the micro channel. The rest is going through this. And because there is a micro channel, I think we can cross RC without much difficulty. Um, so once we get the wire across to RCA, then I think sending RCA first would be uh, a double protection for the patient. A small check, sir. Uh, this micro channel should not be. Uh, it could be bridge collateral. Um, yeah. Collateral bridge. Yeah, no, but, but uh, we've checked a few. Sometimes uh, micro views. channels, sometimes, but. Yeah, the in all the views it looks uh, in the midline of the RCA. So there we go. Uh, so. <laughs> okay, you're lucky. Yeah, so we'll dilate this with a 2.515 balloon. Um, So the size of RCA probably is 3, 3.5 um, and we will dilate this, stent this and then come back to the LED. Uh, LED is quite secure now with the uh, Grand Slam wire so hopefully that will stay there. Um, so I'm going to dilate this RCA segment with a 212 balloon, um, small check. The question fr from us yeah. is, yeah. it was your initial intention to make complete revascularization in one session or yes. uh, complete everything in one session? Yes. Okay. Uh, because I, I But you could do stage, involved. LAD, circ, and then the right. Yeah, we could have done or that. Or you could do the right and then uh, and circ and then LAD. Yeah. I mean, I think there's no no, my concern was right that you know the patient was uh, uh, dependent on uh, the septal, uh, and uh, I thought doing one might compromise the other, and we might end up in a hemodynamically complicated situation uh, if we plan only for one. Uh, so that's why both were planned at the same sitting. Uh, okay. Uh, so we can probably stand here with the three. Um, 38. It there is one more lesion distally, as one. you can see. Yeah, there is a lesion distally also, which uh, was not so obvious in the beginning. So we'll uh, small check, small check, please. I think the different approaches. I, uh, yeah. know, I personally probably would have started with the right. I have the same concerns about the right being dependent. I would have started with the right and then come back for the LAD. Okay. Uh, but there's no, you know, there's obviously multiple ways to to approach these. Mm -hmm. Elevocranial, please, because initially when we had the original angiogram, the right was did not have this micro channel. I see. So uh, I assume that the right is also going to be pretty difficult. Uh, so and uh, doing the left without uh, any, with any compromise to the septal was uh, not an option at that point. Uh, so we can see that even distally at the PDF, I mean the crux. There is some disease. Such diffuse disease, it's yeah. difficult. Yeah. Um, so what do you think we should uh, you know, do at the crux? Should we stent it from the PDA upwards? Or I think you should uh, go first uh, cover the proximal uh, segment. And then mm -hmm. we will see maybe uh, after a few PLB months there will PLB be remodeling and something will right come. And also just it's just reperfused now. Yeah. Underfilled, it would consider giving some nitro here. And giving even five minutes can make a difference. G you know, just nitro and see how it looks. Uh, not unreasonable, but I, I agree. I would stent that. I w and then you may hopefully you can avoid going across that PL, right? Because it, it gets very small and diffuse down there. Exactly. Distal RC also seems to be disease. I am trying to see where there is no disease actually. Yeah. That's why I would probably just land in that aneurysmal segment or that yeah. big segment proximal to the PDA PL. I agree. So we have given 100 micrograms of the nitro into the RCA. Uh, Dr. Anand, uh, thanks for selecting a very courageous case and excellent demonstration going on. But Thank I was you. told that we have only left with about 3 4 minutes. 
So we yeah. extend the proximal RCA and take a picture and then yeah. reassess after the nitroglycerin, the distal status, and then probably you will decide. And okay. then you would like to stent the LED. That's what is the plan. Yes. Yeah. So uh, if you give me two minutes, I'll finish the RCA. Yeah, yeah. Um, Please go ahead. If just in case if you break, I thought I would yeah. mention. Sure. Okay. So the plan is to finish the RCA stenting okay. and uh, get back to LED and uh, stent that. Yeah. Um, Maybe if we inject in the left, you can see who this still here. Yeah. Um, left lane or not? So I think we are here. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. I think. Go up. Only two minutes left, no? 16. Mm. So we are directing at 16. You want uh, a 15 or 18 approximately? Huh? Approximately in 18, 15. Yeah. No. Approximately, we will stand from the ostium, uh, probably a 3.5. Small, small check. One sec, one sec, yeah. Take a shot. Okay. So, we can put a 3.515 uh, at the proximal from the ostium. The distal still looks a bit... Well, it's also hard to assess the distal because it's getting competitive flow from the left still as well, yeah. right? So, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a mix. So, probably we will finish the left also and come back and assess the right again. Uh, <laughs> If it still shows no, the lesion, I would suggest would go, s please, uh, start with the next stand for the osteal um, right. right, and then yeah. you have one vessel correct, uh, at least uh, correct done, yes. and not, not start uh, in two different uh, places uh, simultaneously to work, you know. Put one stand more to the proximal uh, right, and then um, we will see. Then you can go to LAD. Yeah. So now I'm going to stand the proximal right with a 3.515. Very good. Uh, yeah. So that should take care of the right for now. Um, then we would probably stand the LAD. Um, take guiding. care, guiding, oh, 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 guiding, yeah. guiding. Yeah. Where is coming back? Where is coming but back? You yeah. can rescue. Uh, wire is nope. out. Yeah. Patient so must have. We can break here, we'll work peacefully, and then we'll come back to you. We are Calcutta wants to show their final result once, okay? Okay, sure. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I'm just going to keep the balloon there and take a shot from left main so that I can assess the left main length also. Uh, take a shot, please. Um, 28. Okay. Huh? So 28 should be okay, I think. This is 38. Mm. So 24 should be okay, isn't it? Septal's septal's already reversed itself, or yeah. or, or it's pinched. Twenty four. Right. Uh, uh, so I think uh, to make a clear, clear uh, result, uh, it's it's uh, means it's mean you have to go from left LAD and do Can we see the RCA result once before? Ati, we are not able to hear you very well. Go back. Um, go back. So yeah, uh, last shot. Or no. not? So this was the last shot of the RCA. Okay. Uh, the crux still remains uh, doubtful thing whether we should do it or not. Yeah, but there is flow, and uh, so I could imagine uh, the vessel will be bigger and bigger. And one yeah. day, if needed, you can still correct right. this uh, yeah. segment. Yeah. So probably, you know, we can leave it here and see if the vessel grows with, with time. Okay. Uh, so right now we are going to stand left main to LED. Uh, with That's correct. Yeah, 3.5 Come to LED. No, we'll stay in the cranial okay. and position the distal stand. Okay. Then and then we'll come back to LED cranial to see the proximal part of the stand. Uh, yeah. So now my distal stand is clearly inside the uh, this little LED stand, and I think the proximal stand is also in good position. Uh, is everybody in agreement with that? Now go to LAO cranial. Yeah, LAO cranial, please. Sure. Yeah. Maybe I have to fall a little bit in. Take a shot. 
everything looks okay la right? it looks good yeah, yeah. that's yeah. perfect oh, yeah drop 2468101214 okay deflate come to arrow cranial please so the proximal led actually has the uh, most calcified uh, fibrotic disease uh, it's still not yielding so well so i'm going to pull back the balloon a little bit and uh, go up high higher pressures go up uh, to 16 take 18. care with guiding catheter not yeah. to perform shortening of the yeah. stent so we are at 18 atmospheres it still uh, it's open up fully uh, so i'm going to take a small uh, nc balloon uh, to do the proximal led yeah uh and uh, dilate the left main again separately uh so can you give me a 3.58 nc balloon please Cong congratulations so dr anand for selecting a courageous case and doing oh. a uh, Thank uh, you reasonably so good result Thank congratulations you. once again we are sub we are will be losing you now because of the loss of satellite can, can we time. see one final one, picture one final picture then we break yeah and so we will give you a picture before we go post dilatation okay so that's the led for you uh oh very nice okay. very uh, congratulations that's thank a, you so much yeah i just needed to sort of uh, tune up with a non compliant but that's a yeah, so balloon. we're going to use a non compliant 3.58 in led and go up probably 20 atmospheres uh and exactly. then before that i would rewire the circ uh, because the now the wire is actually outside the stent yeah uh, but so it's great yeah. job worthy you don't need a nice surgeon uh, dr anand yeah. it looks like huh? yeah. congratulations yeah. we do I didn't get that. Thank you again. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Then uh,